Welcome to Dharma for Kids. Now I'm going to guide you in a meditation on loving kindness so we can open up our hearts. So we begin by sitting in a way that we can breathe easily and deeply. It's best to sit on the floor on a cushion or a folded blanket. Sitting cross-legged with the back straight and putting your hands either on your knees or with one hand on the other palm and your thumbs touching. They could be this way or this way. And now sitting up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in, stretching up toward the ceiling, and then relax your shoulders as you breathe out. A nice long breath out. And now we're going to choose a baby animal to meditate with. So here are some photos and pictures you can choose from. So you can choose one of these, so many to choose from, or any other little furry baby animal that you would like to hold, but just choose one. And now close your eyes gently and imagine that you're holding that baby animal close to your heart on your chest and you can feel his warmth against your chest and you can feel him snuggling and maybe moving slightly and you pat him. Just imagine you're patting his soft fur gently, feeling how soft it is, and how small he is, and how light he feels against your chest. And now imagine you're looking at his eyes, his bright, cute eyes, and now you're looking at his little feet and his little mouth. Try to imagine him very clearly in your mind, seeing every part of his body and imagine again you're stroking his nice soft fur. Maybe you hear him make a little sound. And, and as you move your face closer to him, you just imagine that you can smell that little baby fur smell. And now think about how you'd love to take care of him and keep him nice and safe, make sure nothing wrong happens to him. And you feed him and he feels so nice and safe with you. Just imagine how what a nice feeling that is to take care of that helpless little baby animal. And now imagine that your friends or family members are each holding a baby animal just like yours and they're feeling exactly the same way as you do. They're feeling so loving toward that little baby animal and feeling how nice and soft and helpless he is. And now also imagine that maybe some neighbors or teachers are holding the same kind of baby animal and they're also feeling that same way, loving and kind, and how happy they feel holding that little baby animal, and how peaceful the little baby animal feels in their arms. And now imagine that people at your school, or other people that you know, are holding the little baby animal, the same baby animal, and feeling the same way. And now imagine all kinds of people, people from all different countries, all different ages, all different types of people are each holding a baby animal just like yours and feeling the same way, loving and kind, with an open heart, taking good care of this little baby animal. And now imagine someone is standing near you and this person is someone who maybe has hurt you or annoyed you, somebody who you don't feel happy with. Try to imagine that person clearly in your mind. And now imagine that that person is also holding the same kind of baby animal and holding the animal so gently and patting him very nicely, very lovingly, holding the animal close to his heart or her heart and feeling just as loving toward that animal as you do and feeling just as caring, just as sweet, and now imagine that that person looks at you and smiles at you and understands how happy and peaceful you feel and how both of you feel happy and peaceful and loving toward that little baby animal. And now let's wish that all beings in all the world, all the people, all the beings who are suffering, who are unhappy or uncomfortable, who are stressed, that all beings feel that same loving way, that same way of feeling so much care and kindness toward others. 
So everyone in the whole world is feeling that love and peace. May all beings in all the worlds be peaceful and happy.